are these people? Uh, you know, Jason has really been through it for years. And, and Matt, again, we we meet, we recently met Matt, and Matt was telling us all about the Campbellsville facility and all the unique um, uh, all the unique things that are happening at Kentucky, and that that they've been they were one of the original Amazon uh, fulfillment centers, and that in a lot of the the old ones they have, for example. Um, in the newer ones, they have equipment that automate and pick, right? Uh, you, you were telling us about that. Could you tell us a little bit more about, about some of the challenges that, that some of the workers at, at Campbellsville are, are encountering right now? Yeah, so um, the, the point you had there about the automated uh, picking and stowing and all of those processes, uh, that, that doesn't exist in a fulfillment center that's been around since 1999. Uh, so, you know, if, if you're a picker, you're damn near walking 20 miles a night to, to do your work. It doesn't matter if you go to the fourth floor and you, you have to pick one item and then your scanner says, hey, go to a completely different building. Oh, now you have to go down three flights of stairs and then go to that building. You can go to a building without any fans. They, uh, they, they'll do the same thing they've done at, at a site where... Um, at a site in California, they publicly announced that, oh, it doesn't get above 77 degrees at that facility. Well, they'll do the same thing at SDF-1. When you complain about the heat or something, they'll say, you know, it, it doesn't get above 75 degrees. That's, uh, that's, what we, that's what Seattle sets the temperature to when they, when they set the temperature range. And... Yeah, it's bullshit. They, they, they're experts at gaslighting employees and sort of the older folks that have been here since the doors opened, they're very easily gaslit um, because, you know, they had to deal with working conditions where there were like no fans at all or anything. People, people getting heat stroke every day and getting rushed out. You know, it, it wouldn't even be it wouldn't even be cooled down in there in the winter of all, of all times. You know, they just have the heat fucking blasting and, and no air circulation. Um, and, you know, what's more egregious about that is they've recently made us um, adopt the safety shoe policy where, where you have to wear steel or composite toe shoes. Um and, and this screws up people's feet. You have to walk that far in, in, in those type of shoes. Um, you're not, you're not going to last very long. And it, it was negatively impacting everybody's performance too. Um, one of the reasons I was singled out for productivity was definitely because I'm a union organizer. Uh, because I had been organizing so long and I had gone uh, public with it which was a layer of, which I thought it was going to be a layer of protection in addition to unfair labor practices. But you guys can go and read about a ton of the articles, uh, the press things that I've done um, to hear more about how Amazon in Campbellsville is a company town. Um, they took advantage of a desperate community that lost their main source of manufacturing when um, NAFTA was implemented and Fruit of the Loom went to South America. It, I think it went to Honduras. They just shut it down. 4,200 people lost their jobs. And then Jeff Bezos was like, yeah, we want some cheap labor. Let's, let's set up here. And God, you, you have those people, they're, they're always so afraid of the building being shut down or something like that because it's old. And because they have the trauma of either having had lost their jobs at one time and the trauma of being related to somebody that uh, did, did get affected by the Fruit of the Loom closure, which we have like um, what I call the Fruit of the Loom Cemetery in Campbellsville. It's just like the ruins of the former plant. Just like, it's not even that far away from Amazon. You, you can be on your way there and just see the um the concrete wreckage behind the fence and the overgrowth and all that shit yeah that's crazy um yeah. 